Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today I have my candle empties for August 2018. Now, the theme that I gave myself for the month was use it up. Um, I had this whole thing where it's the end of summer, you know, out with the old and with the new, with the new season. And so I used that as a theme to go through some of the candles that I had already had in my collection where I had burned them in previous months, but I never finished them and I put the lid on them. So um, none of the candles that I started in August were brand new. They were all candles that I had already experienced, but I hadn't finished. And as I said, my goal was to get, you know, not rid of them, but just, you know, use them. So um, there are two candles, actually one that I didn't get to finish, and that is a Tomato Vine from Bath and Body Works. This one smells like the leaves of a tomato vine. Also a green pepper. And they describe it as sun-kissed tomato leaves, fresh spring greens, and a hint of lemon. So as you can see, I still have, you know, like a third of it left. And I really enjoy this and I don't have another one. This was my second one. So I'm going to put this back in my collection and maybe bring it out next summer. So I didn't get to finish that. Um, and then also, I have this much left of the Yankee Candle Pure Radiance Casablanca Lily and Iris. But I'm going to go ahead and call it done because as you can see, there's a wick up top and there's a wick in the middle. And the wick, the one wick kind of like got really weak and you know like meh. And then the other wick in the middle isn't strong enough to burn through the wax. It, it It's not a good situation. So... I'm going to call this one finished, uh, and I think I have one more Pure Radiance, but uh, this was nice, it was, it was fine. I like the crackling of the wood, although this scent isn't exactly my favorite. I just wanted to go ahead and get rid of this, and this one I had started I think in April around Easter. I finished, from my medium July theme, I finished pink grapefruit and this was a UK exclusive. I bought this at the Yankee Candle Outlet a few months, a few weeks ago and this was a 2017 pour. Uh, this went all the way down to the metal stud and this is a, like this is just straight grapefruit. If you've smelled a grapefruit <laughs> this is what it smells like. It's it's like sharp, it's sweet, it's bitter, it's all of those things in one and um, I can't personally eat grapefruit, but I enjoy the smell of it. Um, the next one I'm going to call, well it is finished, I'm going to call it done. It's from Country Candle and it's this flannel candle. This is a, a two wick and this just smells like kerosene now. This is very much like a bath and body work situation where it got to that point where it just smelled very kerosene like and it didn't smell like the the flannel the you know I don't even remember what this was supposed to smell like because from the time that I was reburning it it just smelled like that gasoline kerosene smell and I didn't like it I finished my magic cookie bar and I know um my viewer hi I'm sorry I didn't have your name right in front of me um recommended that I go to Ollie's and they did sell them in Ollie's but I decided not to buy it again just because I have so many other candles but um I finished this this was from March and as you can see there was some major sooting but this burned all the way down to the stud and I believe the wick was traveling so I mean either or it burned down to the stud and the wick was traveling but this I mean, I said before, it kind of smells like buttered popcorn. I guess I should say like more like caramel corn. I love this smell. It smells so good. I now have to make myself a magic cookie bar. Like I have to find the recipe, never made it before, and have one. I finished from last summer a pillar of coconut beach. And I enjoy this. This is like coconut, like delicate coconut and baby powder. I really liked this. Um, this is the only pillar I've ever burned from Yankee Candle. And 
it was a beast. It got to the point where I couldn't even trim the wick with my wick trimmer. It's just so tall. But I really enjoyed this one and um, I'm happy that I got to experience it. Um, I finished another magic cookie, excuse me, not magic cookie bar, another item from the cookie swap collection. I finished the crunchy pistachio vanilla. This Okay, this reminded me of something when I was burning it. So when I smell it on cold, I like it. When I'm burning it, it kind of has like like a ba baby's diaper smell. Like not like poo, <laughs> but like there's just something, I don't know, like baby butt about it. I don't know. I, I know that doesn't like, you know, uh, doesn't translate very well, but like in my head it makes complete sense. And the other thing that was strange about this candle, and I don't remember if the other ones did it, but the wax turned brown. Like a lot of it was turning brown. And you can sort of see it, like how it was turning brown, and then on the bottom. But there was like pure brown areas of wax, and I have no idea why that is. But on cold, I think the smell is delightful. Um, and this was a 2016 pour. So I'm going to not burn this for a while. The other one I think I still have and maybe I'll forget that it smells like a baby butt. Um, I finished from Yankee Candle World Journeys this Bavarian pretzel and this is a two wick tumbler. And I got this at the outlet so it has the yellow label. I can't tell when it was poured. But this smells like a fresh baked pretzel. And um... The wick was starting to travel, so that's why I called it, but I thought this was delightful. I mean, why would you want your house to smell like a pretzel, but it smelled, you know, like cozy and warm and just like fresh baked goodness, but not a sweet baked goodness, like that's like the doughiness of a pretzel, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'm happy that I got to experience it because it's one of the ones that I had seen at the outlets for a while and I, I always bypassed it and then finally I thought if I don't get it this time I will be mad at myself so I did get it and I burned it and I liked it I finished one of the waxes that I pulled out for the month and I finished the Scentsy's coconut flan um, this is a very rich very like heavy coconut um, I, I don't know what else to say. This isn't like a tropical coconut. This is just like sugary. I, I, I guess the name coconut flan is appropriate because it's like a very heavy sugared coconut to me. Um, almost, almost like getting to that point where it's like coconut caramel in my mind, but, um, I finished it and I'm glad that I got to experience it. And then the last thing is not really a candle, but it is fragrance related. Um, Yankee Candles Black Coconut Car Jar. I had this in my car. It just smell, it does not smell like anything now. It's just old cardboard at this point. Um, I'm not exclusively a Yankee Candle fan girl. I'm not. I, I really. I feel like I, I seem like I am, but I'm not. I just, uh, the one time they had like the dollar car jars and I just stocked up on a whole bunch of them. So that way, um, I could always have a car air freshener, but this was kind of like, um, coconut. Uh, I don't I don't think this will have like patchouli or anything in it, but it was just like, uh, along those lines, I know I'm awful at this. I apologize, but I enjoyed this in my car for the month and a half that I had it. And that's what it was. So those were the candles, one wax, one car jar empty that I had for August of 2018. If you liked this video or found any information helpful, please think about giving this video a thumbs up and until next time, I hope you guys all stay well. Bye.